Union Catholic Central with the ball. They are tied up with Fowler, 29-29. With 2.48 left to go in the third quarter of this Class D Regional Semifinal. John Daniel bringing the ball up for the Crusaders. We are at Granville High School. Thanks for tuning in. Matt Chapkis and Tom Kender, happy to bring you the action on Country 93.1. Back to our alley-oop play from the Crusaders. Daniel Dakari Campbell laying in for an easy two. MCC retakes the lead, 31-29. Great play called there by the coach, Lamar Jordan. Back the other way, Worth into the lane, had it knocked away. Gets it back in the left corner for Birchmeyer. Birchmeyer working against Brant McCollum, trying to get it in down low for Burr. And they're going to get Kari Campbell for his third foul here with 2.15 left to go here in the third quarter of play. First team foul on the Crusaders here in the second half. They really need Kari out there. He now has 14 points on the game. Can't afford to get another foul. Fowler just gets it in. George missed it. Laying on the ground. Burr with the rebound, but they're going to say he traveled. It'll be MCC ball up two with 2.10 to go here in the third quarter. Adam Callow will slowly and patiently bring this ball up for MCC. Off on Daniel for the right side, down low, Kari Campbell off the glass for another two. And it's a four-point MCC lead, 33-29. Kari Campbell starting to impose his will down low. On the other end, Keneshek underneath, misses spinning shot. Over the back is Trent George, who went literally all the way over the back of Brant McCollum. McCollum went down hard, not excited about that play. But it'll be MCC ball, and the foul on George will be his second, his team's third. Yeah, McCollum's a football player himself, so he he doesn't shy away from anything physical. MCC is going to check Campbell out in favor of Ian Tyler here with a minute 37 to go in the first, in the third quarter. Callow driving to the basket, lays it up, lays it in off the glass. Adam Callow's drive to the hoop gives it. Crusaders, a six-point lead, 35-29. Here comes Worth the other way for Fowler. Takes it all the way to the basket himself. Missed a shot over top of Tyler. John Daniel with a rebound for MCC. Daniel pulls up just as he crosses midcourt. He will back this back out and set up the Crusader offense. Off on the right side, gets it for Callow. Correcting traffic. Sends it back up top for John Daniel. Under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Jesse Anderson in for Ian Tyler. Tyler working down low, goes up strong, just missed a shot, rebound, comes down to Keneshek for Fowler. 45 seconds left to go. George brings it up the right side, makes a move, goes off the glass, missed it. Tyler with a rebound for the Crusaders. Long pass down for Jesse Anderson, slipped through his hands. McCollum had it for a moment, but it's saved by George. Here come the Eagles back the other way. It's Birchmeyer bringing it up the left-hand side. Drops it for Worth, covered by Jesse Anderson, trying to get around him, just can't do it. Hands it off, pulling up from the elbow. That is George, misses shot. Jesse Anderson with a rebound for the Crusaders. Anderson brings it up for MCC. Now he'll give it over for Callow. Nine seconds left to go. He'll set up the final shot of the third quarter of play, getting the screen from Tyler. Adam Callow for three, missed it short. Rebound's going to go out of bounds. With three tenths of a second left, it'll be Fowler ball. 35 29, MCC leads. Fowler will inbound this, and then we will take a break and head to the fourth quarter of play here in the Class D regional semifinal. Shot is off the mark by Cook. And that'll do it for the third quarter of play. Muskegon Catholic Central 35, Fowler 29. We'll be back with the final eight minutes after this one-minute break here on Country 93.1. 